Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video, and as you can see, today we got a brand new sneaker, the Nike LeBron 12. Uh, I picked these up today, they just released today, so I thought I would give you a review as soon as possible. I'm going to give you a quick look at the box, seeing as how we haven't seen it before. On the front, it says the 12, and has your LJ Crown logo in this crazy print. As you can see, it's sort of like a scaled all over. On the side here, it says LeBron James. The back has his signature. The other side also says LeBron James. And on the front, we have the tag, a silver pullout, and the Nike swoosh. The tag does say LeBron 12, uh, university red, black, white, hyper crimson. I got a size 13. No suggested retail tag because it is a Canadian pair. They don't have suggested retail tags. So I'm going to put this away and get All straight. Right, guys, you guys probably knew what color this was already, but this is the Nike LeBron 11 Lion Heart, or Heart of a Lion. I really don't care what you guys call it because it is still the same shoe even if you call it the purple unicorns. It's still this shoe. So um, if you guys could hit the like button that would be awesome because it does go a long way in helping out my channel. Um, I'm going to try and keep this quick, not to keep you guys here too long, but starting off on the bottom we have one of the most disputed parts of the LeBron 12 or debated I guess uh, this colored pod system. So this is like hex zoom is what they're calling it I believe but as you can see there's a whole bunch of hexagons different colors that all have zoom bags in it as well as the one on the heel here I wasn't too crazy about how the, all the colors on all the shoes are exactly the same but I have to tell you it does not look that bad the color combo between the top and the bottom you have a uh, purple, a pink, an orange, a volt. You have your black six here, which they did not actually fix, apparently. I thought that's what they were fixing. There's a six right there. Um, and the LJ Crown logo on the heel. If you guys didn't know, they recalled all the pairs, delayed the release date, because they had some sort of uh, aesthetic problem. And uh, I thought it was the six, because he's now wearing 23. And it is actually beginning to snow out here right now, guys. So hit the like button for me reviewing shoes in the snow. Anyway, the upper is red and white, obviously. You have your white hyperposit running along the back and the midsole. I don't know if you guys can see, but it does have little, little dots all over it. It is a pretty thick hyperposit, much thicker than the LeBron 11, which was fairly pliable, in my opinion. Right down here on the midfoot you have your swoosh, really low to the ground. I really like how that looks. I know some people aren't fans of it, but I think it looks awesome. You do have that same crazy pattern that we saw on the LJ Crown logo on the box. On the swoosh right here, if you can see the light is catching it at certain spots, but sort of like a scaly look on it. The heel is really cool. You have this mesh your LJ Crown logo in black as well as your white hyperposit wrapping around and you have this really cool pull tab which says a whole bunch of stuff I'm not really sure what it means but take a look at it that's what it says the medial side more of that white hyperposit you can see your shank plate wrapping up here and it does say some stuff on it once again not sure the significance of it more of this awesome red mesh where you see the hyper crimson that more orange color it is a very thick Listen to that sound. So sort of like a plasticky feel. It is very thick, very durable. I cannot see this ripping on you anytime soon. You have your black swoosh right here on the toe. And one thing I really love about this shoe is how the laces are just sort of sitting on top of the shoe. They are held in by black fly wire and uh, when they do go inside, they just go inside where that hyper crimson mesh is. Uh, right here we have our LeBron James crown once again. I think this is amazing how they put it right there on the middle of the tongue. And you do have 12 dots, obviously to signify his 12th shoe. The laces are all red rope laces and on the tip you have black with, it, with the hyper crimson LJ crown logo. On the top of the tongue you have your little pull tab here. Underneath you have these crazy designs in red and hyper crimson and you have your LJ or not your LJ crown your LeBron James signature right there at the top the tongue is also completely sewn on as you can see the tongue doesn't even start till right here this is all one piece up to right here and then much like the KD5 if you guys remember that it is sewn on all the way to right there if you guys can see that so it's all the way sewn on and then this little part at the top right here is the only part that is not sewn onto the shoe Looking at the inside, it is extremely comfortable and extremely padded on the ankle collar. I've tried these on, walked around the house already, and it is amazing. It is all black on the inside. You have an orange insole 
saying the 12 in black as well as your LJ Crown logo. So that pretty much wraps up the aesthetics of the shoe. Personally for me, I love these things way more in person than I did in pictures. Um, it's gonna be hard to pass on colorways now, honestly, because these things are amazing. Tried them on on foot already and they look awesome. So I will be bringing you guys an on foot video tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Let me know what you think of the LeBron 12 and let me know what you think of this colorway down below. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys tomorrow with that on foot. And until then, peace.